with that. Yeah. I, so. should, should we kick it off with like a cheers or something? Or uh, sure. Kick <laughs> it off. Fuck this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna get Jeff loose. sent it sec. So, all right. It's time to get all right, loose. Hang on a second here. Welcome to the Ready, Set, Blow podcast, episode 301. My man, Jeff Zenisek, the third time returning champion. First time we lost the audio to uh, technical difficulties. Second time we did it in their old studio. Now we're in the third wheel podcast, their new studio on Santa Monica Boulevard. Uh, Jeff Z just re engineered the whole fucking place. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he, knows, no, he knows cameras and audio. No, they equipment. did everything right. I, I was being a, a stick Karen about it. And then they were they were right so i am a dipshit <laughs> my apologies to the studio anyway, cheers buddy thanks cheers. welcome back to the podcast All the right. post chase era shout oh, out to yeah. chase and his new podcast yeah. good luck F you chase you bitch <laughs> fuck you dude suck no. our dicks <laughs> oh he's cool yeah he's great oh, man. He that's just, great he, he just we he love he's chase. just doing his own podcast oh, now. Okay. He want... that's cool <laughs> he decided to branch out and oh, okay. listen to me fucking lose I, my mind for 90 minutes a week i thought it might be cool to do like a beef you know I, yeah, I, I, I wonder if it'll help our sales. Yeah, like our combined, you know, uh, podcast listens and mm -hmm. ticket sales and whatever the fuck. If uh, if I start trashing Chase, yeah, Chase, you, we'll get on that. I'll, I'll I'll do some background research. We'll see. Yeah, you got to start a beef with the other pods. You know. Oh well, that's well, we were talking about that right before we roll, started rolling. Uh, about the way, like hip hop artists, like no matter, and every at least one track in their album, they have to start with, uh, turn my mic up. Yeah, you know, turn my headphones up. Turn the mm -hmm. they got to turn something up. Yeah, they don't set anything up until they're recording. <laughs> yeah. That's when they set up. They're like, we're going to record an album. They're like, all right, all right, just go raw. We're going to start like, but before we do any settings, yeah. don't you, touch my levels until I start recording. Yeah, we're not like so. The second Eminem comes in, that's when they're recording the album. Yeah, <laughs> and then they're like, you know, the sound guy just got there and. <laughs> I don't. I was like, that's what I'm saying. Like, would it be? Uh, I uh, would a comic get away with getting the, the, doing that on stage? They were like, mm -hmm. you know, they walk up to the stage and don't even dress a crowd. Just go, uh, turn the mic up. Yeah, more uh, bass, more bass. Like, uh, <laughs> you stand like, what the fuck is he talking about? I did already make this joke before we started recording, but I'm gonna do it again right now. Okay, <laughs> that I am going to record a special, and the first thirty minutes is gonna be me just getting doing the levels right, sound equipment <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> actually, you know what? My I'm going to release two specials. The first special, the second special, will be the comedy. The first special will be me like decorating the stage, <laughs> painting a wall. I don't, although, man, I'll be honest, dude. You uh, you show me what you what you got going on with the two woke boys studio in your in your in your place, and I think you'd be pretty good at it. Yeah, I I have none of those talents. Our, our mutual friend Jeff that he can decorate and shit. Mm -hmm. I might be the only man in our group of friends. <laughs> I can't do any of that shit. Yeah, like, I can't wait, decorate. I don't have any style. Yeah, you're like I don't have long, flowing, luscious hair like you. You're, you're like you're full like dad. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you know, how, like yeah, and that's kind of true because I can't fix anything, but I might give it a shot and fuck it up worse. Yeah, and you'll <laughs> you'll drink while you're doing it, and you'll oh, yell yeah. at the kids. Oh yeah, it's for, their fault. Yeah, it's their fault. Well, they broke it in the first place. Well, they broke my life. Yeah. You know, right? <laughs> I had a life yeah. before I was a father. Yeah, you were. Yeah. I was fucking mad bitches, and they showed up, and now I got to mm -hmm. marry their mom. Yeah, you know? and, and you were fixing your life, and then they <laughs> broke your life. Yeah, they broke it again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you are you a kids guy? You want kids and that shit? I never asked. I it's know so little point. about you, Jeff. And it's like we hang out. I, I don't know. know what fucking once a week, and I, <laughs> I never stay. And I yeah, I know play nothing it about close your, to the vet. I know nothing about your personal life uh, yeah. other than other than your I, issues well, with women. I'm Batman. You know, that's, <laughs> that's my whole thing. I I never reveal my. Yeah, but you're like a wife and kids kind of guy because you're the same age as me, right? 37, 38? Yeah. I, actually, Hollywood, I'm fucking 23, but I yeah. do meth. You know, <laughs> that's why I look like it I'm does, it not does keep 23. people trim. Something about doing drugs keeps people in good shape. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't see any fat drug addicts for the most part, except for Artie Lang. Yeah. You know, there's really no fat drug addicts. They're all pretty ripped in abs and shit like that. Is there, I mean, what, the, what drugs make you gain weight, though? I mean, I, weed, I, I think you weed, eat. you could argue you eat a lot. Yeah. The weed itself doesn't make you hot. But no. all the other drugs suppress your appetite. Weed is the only one I think that increases your appetite. Yeah. You know, it, I mean, because, you know, heroin acts, they, they famously vomit. Obviously, cocaine and all the other stimulants destroy your appetite. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what, uh, I mean, meth, you know, they don't eat for days. <laughs> yeah. It's so. like the same, it's like, isn't that the same as coke, pretty much? Meth? No. So, so coke. It's the same effect, though. It's a stimulant. Yeah. Uh, but it's, I mean, methamphetamine is a lot stronger. Like crystal meth. 
So it's better. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's speedier. I, I don't oh, okay. know. I don't know that it's better. See, I like speed. I'm yeah, a, I would say the better know. ones are the pharmaceutical drugs. I'd say the best speed you can get is like Adderall or oh. Vyvanse. I mean, that's going to be yeah, that, that'll, that. that'll keep you on the on point for a you know. Meth will have you have a fucking paranoid psycho psychotic state. Yeah, you but lose Adderall your key. will keep you ready to ready to pound out an Excel spreadsheet at all times. But does it have the same effect as a like? coke thing where it's like i haven't done meth to know what it feels okay. like um or would the pharmaceutical make you lose your like teeth and shit though oh if you take enough of it and and, and let's <laughs> no yeah uh, and let's be honest i mean like fentanyl and oxycontin they're, they're you know they're both synthetic opioids that are just way better mm -hmm. than heroin and way cheaper that's why people start with those now and end up the, the heroin because they can't get it's they made it harder to get pills but so, so now people, so it's easier to get heroin again so people are sort of, sort of going back to that uh so yeah. what what is heroin does heroin like grow so heroin heroin comes from opium i love this okay. it's like Which a very is, educational there's a fucking fly in here I'm yeah there was a little, bitch. there's been a little fly i think in. i got him i filmed last week and it was buzzing around All right, um well, he's gone now so <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> He exterminated. He's like camp. Daniel's son with the fucking chopsticks. He caught yeah, the fuck. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, the big bear paws. Yeah, but um, yeah. uh, so heroin it comes from opium. It's poppies. So it, 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 they okay. grow a poppy plant, and what they do is there's like the flowering head mm -hmm. that like opens up eventually, I guess. But like as it bulbs up, apparently if you if you like scrape the outside of it, a sap comes out. Uh, they collect that sap and they process that into heroin. Wow. See. Yeah. This is why you don't know how to like decorate and shit like that. I know shit like you that. know all that shit. <laughs> I mean, that's a good point. Maybe yeah. may, maybe my time was spent somewhere else. Yeah, you I was have reading so while, while Jeff and I was learning how to put together a fucking IQ. Holy shit, dude. You're like a Wikipedia page about <laughs> drug shit. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, gray goes good with brown. <laughs> you know, that happened last weekend. Uh, last time I was, I was so I've been, I've been off the road for a couple weeks because our, our friend Jeff dies filming a movie. But uh, we were doing Oregon, and we were driving from. So it was like one night, or so it was one night in um, the Juice Box in fuck is the name of that place, Centralia, Washington. Then we went, then did Portland, and then did Bend, Oregon. It was a fun Hell run, yeah. it was an awesome run. Uh, with Willie Simon and Amanda Arnold. Amanda Arnold set it all up. It was great. Uh, yeah. But we're, the, the four of us are driving to the next gig. We're going from you know from Portland to Bend. It's a beautiful drive, right? And we're all you know enjoying the conversation, enjoying the view. How long of a drive is it? Probably like two and a half hours, three hours. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Not and, bad. Uh, and of course, you know, Jeff likes to talk. We all like to, you know, yeah. we, we all have opinions. So it's a fucking hell yeah. It, it becomes into a, a violent agreement conversation. Mm -hmm. Almost, we start violently agreeing on everything. But uh, but I forget how it comes up. But uh, Jeff asked a question like that, like, "How is so and so?" You know, wait, wait is it, how does this work? And yeah. Amanda just looks into the because I was sitting in the back seat. She looks in the rearview mirror and says, "You gonna tell him?" I was like, yeah. and I just went and gave him a whole elaborate explanation. Nice. Hell but yeah. uh, I guess I guess I did stock up on information that I don't use. Yeah. This, Whereas decorating, I could have used my apartment. Well, could use some love. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, you, it's more like an army barracks now. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool though. You got sandbags stacked up. <laughs> yeah, I got a pillbox full of ammunition <laughs> and a gun with a turret, a turret with a gun on it. Hell yeah, dude! I mean, I want that. <laughs> I want that shit. I'd like to live in a treehouse. Oh, dude! Treehouse would rule. Have you ever looked at watch Treehouse Masters? Mm -mm. That's a show. It's a show where a guy builds super super high end like. Several, some of them are like a million dollar treehouse. Okay, are they? It's these are like believable. Wait, are these like? I'm doing these for funsies, or like this is like my main. No, I live so, in a so tree. The, so these are people usually. Uh, look, the, the, he, uh, I think maybe the most expensive one is probably a million bucks, but he but, but usually a couple hundred thousand. Dollars. Is it in his? It, wait, is the million dollar treehouse in someone's backyard? Yes, but the, okay. but not that. This, okay. That that was a super rich guy. That was like a very one off. Yeah. But usually he builds like a very elaborate treehouse, and he's usually like in the Pacific Northwest, or he's like in you know, Ohio or Massachusetts, where they have these big enough maple trees or trees that can yeah. fit this shit. Um, yeah, you couldn't even put a birdhouse in the yeah. tree behind my house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah a palm tree would make for a bad treehouse. <laughs> a birdhouse would you're weigh just on it a stick. down. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking yeah, it would uh, just have to tip over. Just <laughs> a fat hummingbird would weigh down that branch it's on, you know? <laughs> so, but, uh, but he builds like, like $150,000, $200,000 tree houses mm -hmm. that they don't have like running water in them. But they're fucking legit. I mean, it's dude, well, it's, it is it's a, like glamping. It like, is a tree, I guess. You could run water up to a tree. You, you could run water yeah. pretty much anywhere. Yeah, you do. Yeah, it depends on how high the tree is. Is it a ladder? You know, do I have to like? Is there like a spiral staircase? Some of them have around? spiral staircases. That's I mean, sick. they look livable, dude. Like honestly, it looks like 
it kind of looks like if you put an like like the accommodations, it's like uh, like a well stocked RV, mm-hmm. but it's just a beautiful <laughs> house in a tree. So yeah. like you have like you know a place to piss out of that it just hits the ground. You know like, that's and, cool, but yeah. you don't have like you know he's not you're not gonna like make a smoothie in there. Like they yeah. don't have, you know they don't have electricity. Okay. No to kitchen. It. No, no yeah. full kitchen typically. Yeah, <laughs> but but I but I yeah. think you, I think you could definitely engineer where you could have one. That would be sick, dude. I uh, I will say this about that kind of stuff with the house shit. I for whatever reason they're trying to push this. Hey, let's all live in tiny houses. Bullshit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that is a thing. I, I do like a tiny house. Hate that shit. Why, dude? Because no one wants that. No one. I know people I are on. That. No, you don't. You don't want that. You want space. You don't want to have like an autistic setup where it's like <laughs> you're fucking. Hey, I'm gonna make food, so let me unfold my kitchen table because <laughs> like you know origami. What I mean? Yeah, like <laughs> fuck that shit. Those things suck, dude. Dude, the reason I mean, look, most people can't afford to buy a full size. Most people That's can't afford exactly to buy their dreams. Why house. they're doing that? Of, yeah, but you have to settle for less. Mm-hmm. So they're why like, not? Why not have a dope one bedroom apartment that is a house as yeah. opposed to? They're like, look, I can no fit bedroom. all four of my kids in this one. Oh, I don't think you want a tiny house. house if you want. That. I like the idea of a tiny house when it's just me living alone. Well, no, yeah, I like the no they're showing like you can have a family in this tiny house. No, I don't Could want Could you that. imagine? If I don't want that. Dude, if my parents were like, hey, son, we live in a tiny, sustainable house, I will kill my parents. And yeah, then- but even <laughs> if they lived in a big ass house, you wouldn't want to live with your parents. No, but I'm saying like <laughs> as a kid. I mean, and, I, and I don't know your parents, but I think in, by and large, people want to live on their own when they're adults. I, yeah, but I'm saying like if you're like a new adult starting yeah. a family, yeah, they're, they're like trying to promote that this is like something you can do. Well, what's funny about that is that we've been doing that forever in New York. It's called living in an apartment. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, there was five of us in a two bedroom yeah, in a two bedroom railroad apartment. That they're trying to make it like they're trying luxury. to make it sexy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like expensive, also. Which well, that's is bullshit. that's what I don't get. You see that that's where it breaks down. I agree with you there. Yeah. Like people have been living in small space forever. It's called being poor. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 like we've like uh, they've been poor people since the beginning of time. Yeah, but to like rich to, people to make luxury to... poor. Is a little fucked up. Yeah, they're trying to gentrify poorness, and that's bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it's no good. Yeah, dude, they're trying to like look, look at look how frugal I am. I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to buy this four million dollar, eight hundred square foot place. It's like, well, why would you do that? They want you to aspire to live in like a tiny fucking piece of shit that's like a little bit bigger than your body. You yeah, know? like I don't want to live in that. Like, there's no way to sell it. Like, there's no storage. Everything sucks your fucking your kitchen table like folds down and your fuck that's like also your office yeah but i also think there's something wrong there's something obviously wasteful about having like a four bedroom home and you live alone no that rules I, well, I that mean, rules dude. i mean it rules if you can do it but i yeah. like i even dude even i was going to get this later but I, even even if i had a hundred million dollars i wouldn't buy a 20 million dollar house yeah you would i mean i would get a I mean, I would want extra rooms. Yeah, I'd have a guest room, maybe a second one. No, I'd or, I'd, or I'd have like rooms. a podcast studio and a guest room. Yeah, dude. Like I would need three bedrooms. I'd I wouldn't have a need, podcast I wouldn't, studio. I wouldn't need a fucking full tennis court. I don't oh, yeah. Play, I don't, well, I would I, want that. Dude. Well, you play tennis. Yeah. Or a full basketball court. I don't need that. I'd like to have a pool so I got my friends over in the pool. Yeah. You know, so I, I see that. I wouldn't need a 20-car garage. What the okay. fuck do I need 20 fucking cars? I would cars want a room with a so, ball so, pit. So people that I hate or, or freeloaders can drive them? Fuck that. Yeah. A no, ball pit thing seems Ball good. pit room would be sick. Yeah. You just go in there and it's like a fucking... Yeah, let's get into that. Yeah, so I was asking you about a family, but let's get into your house first, your dream home. Yeah. So you want a ball pit in the dream home? I mean, if you got the space for it. Well, assume, yeah. assuming you got $10 million, you can build a beautiful fucking giant house in Beverly Hills or whatever. Yeah, if you had $10 million in town here, you could probably buy like a pretty cool four bedroom regular house. Yeah, it's probably about right. It, it's crazy. Yeah, on on the east side, not on the west side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, you know, like like near the, like, it would just you be like four million dollar place in a Mexican neighborhood. You'd barely have a yard. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's crazy how expensive shit is here. But you could have a, you'd have a ball pit. Would you have one of those bouncy houses? Oh yeah, trample tram, the whole floor, fire trampoline fire, floors, tramp, the whole house. Yeah, first and second floors. So yeah, there's, dude. There's nowhere you could stand sturdy. Yes, one hundred percent. You can't stand. Yeah, <laughs> anywhere in the house where you can't be. Yeah, and there's no there. stairs because <laughs> you got trampoline floors. So just I would fucking love, bounce up. I, I would love to see how an engineer would build. That would be sick, dude. 
and there's no floors. Yeah. There's a, I mean, there's a slide. Yeah. The slide. A slide, of course. You ever see the movie Blank Check? It was like a, t- uh, yeah, when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah it was yeah, like a kid's yeah. movie. Yeah. Y- you were like that kid. Yeah. That was, yeah <laughs> rule. That was, that was when they weren't selling tiny fucking houses. No, they, were, yeah. they were like, look, follow your big dreams. Get a big ass house. Richie Rich. That was another one they did. Yeah. <laughs> the floors would be trampoline. You'd have no stairs. Yeah. There's probably a kid's movie so now. So couldn't there like, be a second floor then? Because if you're jumping. Yeah, I guess you there guys is work, a second floor. You, worry about hitting you, your got, head. you got to yeah. jump really high. <laughs> you know, you got to get up there. So no fire pole. You just jump down. It's trampoline. Fire pole would be okay. A fire pole. To the, the I was always trampoline. afraid of the fire pole when I was a kid. Why? I was afraid I'd fall down. You afraid of poles? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm not a stripper. Get that bullshit away from me. Get a lady on this. <laughs> yeah. So now, would you have a wife and kids in this trampoline house? <laughs> I don't think they'd be That's, into that. I think the kids would be into it. <laughs> oh, well, so you want the kids, you don't want the wife. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. That'd be fun. Played Nerf War with the kids in the house. Hell yeah, I dude. couldn't. I couldn't imagine you as a father. Do you want a family and all that, all that jazz? Uh, at some point, but I mean, I can't even afford a cat. So I mean, it's like <laughs> a you know, cat. Oof, that's a big bird. I can't even afford a house plant right now. I want to. Yeah, the only no, plant I, don't have I buy, a, I smoke. <laughs> yeah, I got a fake plant too. I got fake plants. So, fake ficus. Yeah. <laughs> And those are dead, so <laughs> can't even keep those alive. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. Uh, I don't know. I See, I wouldn't be with the big money. house thing, man. I'd buy like six places in six different cities. See that? Yeah, that's, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I like I I I like the like having the money is nice because you have the freedom. Mm-hmm. When you have a bunch of shit you got to worry about, you lose all that. That's true. You know, there's a very famous hedge fund manager, a guy by the name of Lewis Bacon, who like, which is okay. a great name by the way. Lewis Bacon. Huh? Lewis Bacon, big shot, big fucking okay. multi billionaire. He, you know. A master of the universe that you never would have heard of unless you were in finance. But the guy's worth, I don't know, fucking $10 billion, something crazy. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. The guy's worth that much. You never even heard of him. <laughs> but he uh, famously, like 10 years ago, he thought uh, you know the housing market was overheated. He's like, this is nonsense. He sold all of his homes. He had like eight fucking giant homes in the Hamptons and south of France and London, New wow. York. He sold them all. Uh, he had like press artworks that he lent out a lot of them to different museums to put them on loan to them. And then whatever he didn't, he put into a storage unit. And now he just has a roller bag full of his, full of like, you know, <sighs> like five days worth of clothes. And he stays, in the, he stays at the suite at a different hotel, yeah, whatever he, city I is I hate in. this guy. I love that idea. No, that's, that guy's that's crushing bullshit. it. No, that's garbage. That guy's, cr- well, how's that garbage? Cause it's, it's this like, oh, I just got the shoes on my feet and the No, he's, no, he's not, that, no, he's not that, he's not a hippie. He's a fucking hippie. I fucking hate the, like, I don't need stuff guy. No, it's, well, for him, he was like, I travel so much, it didn't make any, any sense. Okay. But the idea of that, like, like, oh. So he's just, everywhere he goes, he's got his little toiletry bag with his little tiny shampoos and shit. Yeah. And he's also a multi-billionaire. So if he needs something, he just buy it. It only, yeah. this, oh, this breaks, this true. breaks down when you're poor, right? Yeah, because you, you need shit. To, it makes no sense. Yeah, so every time he wants, he needs like, uh, like, oh, I need new running shoes. He just goes buys them. You know, yeah. like it, it doesn't like he like thinks he like. Uh, if I lose my toiletry bag on a flight, that's like two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, see, it doesn't matter to him. somehow. Yeah, yeah he just like, he it, just has his like, just then go pick up all the more shit, all the shampoos and all this. I mean, you think this shit just <laughs> is like this, bro? <laughs> the hair, fuck, dude. <laughs> God damn, I get fucked at the airport if I lose my shit. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> But yeah, that's what I would do. I'm not. A, I feel like having like a big. Just one more thing you have to fucking maintain. You gotta have a. St- think if you, dude, if you own a property, it's like twenty thousand square feet. You gotta have a crew to run that fucking thing. You know, See, much, a, you know how much landscape having costs? a crew is sick. Your yeah, boys but I, just hanging out at the house. But it's not your boy. You're living in the entourage. Yeah, but friends. they be they become your boys. You know what I mean? Oh, really? You're thinking your employees like you? Yeah. <laughs> if you pay them enough. Oh, there you go. That's, and you hang, you know. See, that's one thing I definitely said too. If I, like, if I was super wealthy, I'd gross. I'd, I'd look forward to grossly overpaying my employees. Yeah, because it's a great way to buy loyalty, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, like, like if you, uh, like if, I would like, pay them one dollar over the acceptable minimum wage. Oh no way, you know I mean? dude! Which would be higher than. Oh, I'd go way know? higher than that. I'd say like a personal chef, where they cost hundred grand a year. I'd be like, I'll give you one seventy five. Okay. Because what is it? Like, if I'm making twenty million a year, who, who gives a shit, right? It's, okay, it's, it's yeah. a rounding error to me. But to them, See, it's but like, now, dude, but he's now, fucking crazy. But let's say for the first year, he's at one seventy five. You've already paid him seventy five thousand over. Like, yeah. So I don't have to give him a raise. Where's he going to well, go? But where's he going to go? At some point, he's going to be like, I would like a raise. That's why I start people as interns <laughs> that are unpaid. <laughs> it's like, look, you're going to get paid eventually. 
but right now you, we gotta you gotta <laughs> learn you gotta yeah you, i'm giving you the chance to learn and then when i pay them five dollars an hour they're which like is, wow is, this is an improvement on zero that's got to be the most fucking then you work your way up to one hundred and seventy-five thousand. Oh yeah so someday yeah. your assistant so be- in 200 years <laughs> You will achieve a raise that's an acceptable level. I wonder if, do you think you saw like an internship program for chicks you date? An internship program? Like, could you sell that concept? Like, so you're saying like inter- having a woman intern for you? Is but like, but as, a, but as a potential love interest. Okay. Can you sell them on that? Like, look, I'm not going to pay for anything. I just want to hang out with you and have sex and find out if there's anything That's here. what you try to do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But yeah. can you formalize that? So I'd like to put the, like an application together and get them to sign on the dotted line. That would be great right? if you could do that. Yeah, because that that removes all the Me Too issues, mm-hmm. all the you know, all the I, you know, I didn't sign up for this, or you told me you weren't going to go. So I'm like, look, it's right here in the notes. Yeah, there's no, after three weeks. If you know, after three weeks, I owe you a text. But if, if in three weeks time, yeah, nothing it happens. could be. Yeah, that's <laughs> a that's a good way to do it for sure. Yeah, you want to get shit in writing. Yeah, I want to get the prenuptial agreement to the dating stage. You know, <laughs> that would be good yeah that's what that's what you know like can you get a prenup in, while you're just dating? that's why dating's tough because there's no there's no uh agreements are being made you know women are making too many demands nowadays <laughs> you know yeah this is the feminism episode but yeah, uh yeah. did um are you like a big dating app guy or do you go oh you go oh natural um i mean i've met people on dating apps but i feel like meeting people in person is better yeah. obviously well the reason i ask is now and I've heard this quite a bit recently, like in different, I've read it in, in, in different uh, shows and programs I've watched. Apparently, some women think it's, it's too forward to even approach them in person now. Oh, yeah, I've heard that. Have you had that, have you had that experience? Uh, those women are nerds. <laughs> <laughs> those people are dipshits. They want to live in an online bullshit that's what I. That's what, you know what I, I mean. I was like, I was like, oh, it's too, it's too direct, it's too forceful to talk to them in person. And I'm like, but that's a better way to judge whether or not a man is going to be a creep or a threat yeah. or mm-hmm. something's fucked up with them. You know, like, yeah, uh, it it, se- it seems riskier to meet them online than to meet them in person. Mm-hmm. You know, like one hundred percent, especially if the first time you're like at a bar. You know, there's other people around. It's not like you're meeting them in an alley. You know, at night. You well, unless that's where you agree to meet. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah but, and that's but, where I usually but I imagine try to meet. You, uh, that's where you try to program yeah, it. One hundred percent. Yeah, in their car late night at yeah, the parking yeah. garage. Hey, I noticed you walking alone by yeah, yourself, look, <laughs> looking, looking around for Candyman yeah. over your shoulder. I thought I'd come. Thank God, you. a good guy like me has come. <laughs> yeah, I do have a gun, but don't worry about it. We're safe. Yeah, it's, I'm protecting. It's for protection us. from everybody else. Yeah, no. <laughs> but don't move. <laughs> <laughs> let me check your wallet i'll ha- i'll handle the cash so just give me the yeah, cash in case anyone comes and tries to yeah, take yeah. it I'll handle the cash. and i am wearing a mask because i care about covid, COVID. yeah 100 percent. oh man the mask mandates one up dude. full face like, <laughs> ski mask yeah with the, with the eye holes in the mouth hole yeah, yeah. yeah for covid yeah <laughs> then why is your mouth yeah. showing yeah <laughs> i was getting covid through my pores and my skin that's why i I'm surprised no one did that as a joke, like on a flight to see if, it, like, for TikTok. Or I'm something. sure people have done. You know, it. like put on a ski mask. 100 people have done it. But I haven't the, seen a TikTok about it. Did you see the one with the guy that had a French fry in his mouth for an entire flight? No, that's they, great. They were like, you, you're eating, so you don't have oh, to wear yeah. a mask, and he had a French fry in his mouth for an entire flight. I love that the French fry must be fucking disintegrated. Sure terrible, by the end. yeah, but hey, I don't know. That's I, why you get one of those candy cigarettes. <laughs> They don't make those no more because they don't want to fake smoke. No, they're still around. Are they? Yeah, they're hard to find though. <laughs> you're, you're in the black market for candy yeah, cigarettes. If you need some, hit me up. <laughs> I got a, I got a pack. Yeah, you know? <laughs> that was my favorite candy as a kid. Candy cigarettes, really? Yeah, just because it it was it looked cool. I never thought smoking looked cool. It, my are whole you kidding me, bro. My whole smoking family is smoked. the coolest. They, my whole family smoked. They didn't look cool at all. But you don't smoke. You don't even smoke weed. Yeah, and you smoke. I smoke weed. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's cool. Smoking weed is definitely cool. I'm yeah. here to promote that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm all about that. Yeah, Smoking yeah. of weed is a big thumbs up for no, me. No, cigs are cool, dude. See, I never thought they were cool. No, they're cool. Why? What makes them cool to you? The fucking, Look at the John Wayne thing. Yeah, dude. Cool guy wearing a. The, John Wayne sucks, actually. Fuck John Wayne. Why don't you like John Wayne? He's the worst actor in history. I'll agree with that. His movie, he, he's pretty Every bad. Every movie's actor. himself. He's like. <laughs> 
he's like, howdy, partner. I'm a cowboy guy. Yeah, spaghetti Fuck Western. that shit. Dude, when I was in college, I had to do, we studied two film directors. We, we studied uh, John Ford and Clint Eastwood, okay? Okay. As directors. John Ford sucks, dude. Like, everybody's <laughs> like, oh, he's great. I don't even know what he did. What, what, Westerns. Okay. The worst genre Westerns. of- no, not I don't think there's not even okay. yeah. Those are the those are the clinics. The legits. Would, yeah. No, Westerns suck balls, dude. My grandpa loved them. I never got into it. Yeah, they blow. I guess, I guess Westerns for old people are like World War II movies to us. Like I like, I like a good World War II movie, a World War II documentary. It's like, oh look at the past. You know, I yes. guess for our grandparents are like, oh, that's more the West, because they you know, they were there for World War II. They don't yeah. It's not the past to them. Our nostalgia is like Toy Story, dude. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> They keep making those and nah. fucking. Yeah. I'm, I'm older than that, man. I'm born more ninja. I'm doing like TV cartoons and shit. There were yeah. no kids movies when I was in ninja fucking, turtle. Well, they're I was, rebooting yeah, those too. Yeah, like '86. I feel like there was like two kids movies, and one of them was Big, where mm. an older woman fucked a kid. Wait, what movie was that? Big with Tom Hanks. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Dude. You remember that movie? <laughs> There's another movie. He yeah. had a trampoline. That yeah. woman was a pedophile. Yeah, she fucked That's him, cool. and then had second thoughts when he was a thirteen year old. Like, well, maybe I should go get him. Wow, what a ridiculous movie, dude! Holy they shit! They can't make the movies back in the day were great because they could every premise yeah. was up for grabs. Now, yeah. like half the premises <laughs> are gone. Like you can't like what if a kid? No, see that was you know, because the what 80s... if a black what if a white guy pretends to be black can't do that anymore? Yeah, right. Like, oh look at the, you know, look at this topsy turvy world. What if a, what if an older woman fucks a kid? What if you a, can't do that anymore? Yeah. What if a boy plays girl soccer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can't do that. That in was movie. a comedy. You, now it's yeah, like you a can't do that drama. in a movie. Now you can do it in real life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is crazy, dude. You ever think about switching to be a chick to go play pro tennis? No comment. <laughs> you dude, you got the hair. Yeah, you're halfway there. Now yeah, you're just gonna cut I, off your dick. I already have some skirts I'd wear. You know, <laughs> you have your favorites. Yeah, yeah. you'd go out there with the full beard though. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. I would never. <laughs> no, I wouldn't shave. I wouldn't change my voice. I would take more steroids. <laughs> I would try to get taller if I could. <laughs> You're already six foot seven. Huh? Yeah, What's be like couple seven of... foot two. <laughs> I, oh, love yeah. the, I love the idea of taking more steroids. Like I have to it, help my transition into. Mm -hmm. You know, I need more steroids. <laughs> yeah, I need to. I need human growth hormone to grow into a, a woman. A woman. <laughs> yeah, I'm blossoming into that. So that's why I'm on HGH. <laughs> Do you hear about that news story where a, uh, a prisoner in jail? Who identified as a woman got two other inmates pregnant. Yeah, I heard about that. How could how, that that guy, that guy or gal, that woman, we is are, a I, lesbian. What we? <laughs> <laughs> that woman is a how lesbian. dare you? That gal. Sorry, I don't mean to dead. I don't. I don't know the name, so I can't dead mm -hmm. name him or her. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is it if you if you dead name somebody, is it their? Do you dead name their former yeah. person or the current person? No, dead name. Like, is like, like, when like, you like say... if I call Caitlyn Jenner Bruce. Am I dead naming dead... Bruce or am I dead naming Caitlin? Uh, I think you're dead naming Caitlin because we have to refer to Caitlin as okay. Caitlin. But you what? can't talk about Bruce because Bruce was so. a person. Bruce won yeah. all the awards. Until he hit a guy with a car and then became a woman. <laughs> I think <laughs> that's what happened. Is that, what, is that why this whole thing happened? Yeah. Well, yeah, like... and then the guy's in jail and, he, and he's banging other female inmates. I think it's when you commit a crime, you transition. Yeah, I think that's the official. Well, yeah, because they're like, they're like, hey, you did that crime. And you're like, I did that wasn't that. me. That wasn't me. <laughs> that, was a, that was a different person. <laughs> that was a whole different. I'm person. a different person now. So, <laughs> yeah. But it's weird that, that like you get in trouble for dead naming because I would think even Caitlyn Jenner was like pretty proud of Bruce's accomplishments. It's it's also like you know like you it, were that then. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like we, it's weird to be like yeah, like I if was I was never that. if I was fat and I'm now I'm thin. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't ever not talk about when I was yeah. fat. You know, like, like that, that yeah. didn't happen. It's like, no, I was it's weird. Look what I did. I, I stopped being that to do this. Yeah. Like, I, w I would be proud of the transition. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm, 100%. Like, like, be like, oh, look, I've become what I am now. Like, I, that's who I was, is what I am. But you can't refer to the, what you were anymore, which is weird. Yeah. It's weird to not, to force people to not be able to talk about it. Because it's like, that's yeah. all we want to talk about. It's like when Monica Lewinsky goes on things and she's like, hey, I'm selling purses, so let's just talk about that. And you're like, that's not oh, what we know you. Yeah. Why, how are you famous? <laughs> you're just some purse bitch? <laughs> Fuck out of here. We got to ask, yeah. what, yeah. What, was, <laughs> what was his dick like? Tell us about his dick. Come on. 
<laughs> we want to draw a picture. Yeah, what about we the cigar a, of the vagina? We brought a sketch artist, <laughs> and we want to see it. You got one of those courtroom sketch artists, so it's all wonky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, or better you get caricature like one of those guys off the streets at the, at the mm-hmm. like like uh the like a street fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Have him draw the dick. <laughs> yeah, he already has like a Bill Clinton, like, <laughs> just ready to go, and he's like, "All right, now draw a dick on Dude, it." I almost once bought a painting back when I had bread. Uh, I was down in Newport. So you are into decorating. You almost bought a painting, dude. What to listen to? Why? Okay. <laughs> it's not a class. But back when I had bread, it, was, it had like some art show or whatever, and there was a. I have a thing. I have a picture on my phone somewhere. It's a like a water painting mm-hmm. of watercolors of Bill Clinton smelling a cigar. Hell yeah, dude. Which I don't know, you know, some of the kids, some of the listeners out there might be too young to remember this, but famously during the uh, Monica Lewinsky dep- deposition, she talked about how he sodomized her with a cigar and then smoked it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, I don't know. Hilarious. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> That's cr- like, I was kind of too young to remember all that. Dude, you're my on. age. What do you mean? I know, but I was like, we were like you- 10. Yeah, like who gives a shit what the president's doing? And also, it's about like fucking. So I guess that's true. Yeah, I guess my parents my, just, just exposed yeah. me to that kind of. Yeah, thing. It, was just, it was just what was my on. parents weren't like Jeff. Sit down. <laughs> we got to tell you what the president did. The president is fucking, <laughs> not his wife, by the way. Uh, can you blame him? Who would yeah. fuck her? But <laughs> yeah, dude. So I don't know. That was a that was a weird thing for sure. But just like everybody was like the court cases and well that's what, what I, that's what i was surprised did by. you fuck her i didn't fuck her but yeah he's missing words i did yeah. not fuck her <laughs> so he funny. literally said <laughs> one of the like, he, it was just like what, I, what, what she sucked my dick but that's not fucking yeah well no they asked him like, <laughs> one of his so responses was, well, depends on what you what what, what what is is yeah he actually had like to define the word is mm-hmm. because yeah, that, he was that so, ruled that, <laughs> that, well, no, my favorite is how we it's how we apologized Mm-hmm. his apology was mistakes were made nice not i made a mistake or i'm sorry yeah mistakes were made just in the in the nice. in the you know yeah, in, in the royal sense. i do love that <laughs> it's a great move yeah because you're sorry, referring baby. to yeah. her as a mistake yeah <laughs> you know you're referring to getting caught yeah. as the mistake yeah right? that's the only mistake he made it was that would have been a sick yeah, his wife knew about it. his wife didn't know he was getting his dick sucked all over town of course she knew. for sure of course she knew she married him for power not for, i don't not, think not for faithfulness I couldn't imagine those two having sex. I'm sure they fucked a fuck couple times. Yeah. Okay. You know, but I bet, but I bet it was more like you know, like House of Cards, like yeah, like, like oh look, I, I won, I won the governorship. I'll pull down your pants. I'm They're suck so your cock right now. obsessed. Look, look, we got power. over on them for a hundred million dollars. So I'm gonna suck your cock right now. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's kind of what, what they, you know. Yeah. It was once, it was, once they had like a big theft or a big uh, mm. coup that they were able to achieve as a family. That's yeah. what you'd get turned on. Yeah, yeah. They they have sex over like power yeah. stuff. Yeah, they yeah. drink the blood of children and then fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are your parents super conservative down in Florida? Uh, no comment. No. They, what is yeah, it? I they're, they're, assume. They, yeah, they're pretty conservative. <laughs> they're fairly conservative. Fairly like good. Are they are they a political type of people? Did you grow up with like, with politics in your house? No. Because you don't seem like a. Uh, yeah. I mean, I know you. I, you sound like you, like Spicoli, but I know you've yeah. you've went to college and everything. Are your parents? Like, well, I went to people? a liberal arts school. Which well, is, so did I. Yeah, liberal arts school is just like. Well, not everyone goes to technical fucking college. Yeah, but <laughs> that would be the move, you know. Yeah, because I didn't learn really anything in college. No, and most people don't. Even in, even fucking engineers, I know they didn't learn a lot. Of shit I mean, I learned how to like do a beer bong. Oh know? yeah, do you in a fraternity and all that? Oh yeah. Which one? Uh, Kappa Alpha. Uh, what school did you go to? Uh, Virginia Wesleyan. Oh, okay, no yeah. shit. The the fraternity of the Southern gentlemen. Really? Mm-hmm. I was a Sigma Chi. I thought they were Southern gentlemen, which uh, just which just is code for racist in the South. Uh, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, our fraternity was founded very long ago, like at, at the eighteen sixties or something yeah. like that. Or the spiritual founder of our part. Uh, spiritual. The, <laughs> the spiritual founder of the fraternity was like robert e lee so i'm wondering oh man <laughs> <Fraternity>. <laughs> I would, <laughs> I, we could cut that out uh, yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah give me a time marker on that yeah, i know <laughs> that was in robert e lee's fraternity yeah it sounds like the ku klux klan <laughs> it's not it's not they had a whole thing yeah. the whole thing there 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 was like a phrase that they it was like do i let dance yeah, or something n- like that no colors allowed that was that their phrase <laughs> no it was it was like do ella dames which is like god and the ladies 
So that was like the whole <laughs> thing. It's like, I don't know. They made me memorize a lot of shit too that I, I, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot everything. Yeah, I, I memorized the Greek alphabet, everybody's first, middle, last names, mm-hmm. their hometown, all this bullshit that just went right out of my fucking yeah. head. And they, and they made sure because I had to memorize it all. We take a test and then we go drink. Mm-hmm. So I immediately forgot everything. Yeah. The hazy pretty good? No, actually, our, that fraternity also had a very anti hazing policy. They didn't, you know, they were trying, they're trying to have a good image. So they, no hazing or racism, bullshit, stuff like that. So, yeah, there was no, there's no racism in my fraternity, but there was certainly a lot of, well, not a hazing, but a lot of, uh, Recom- uh, strongly that recommended drinking. Fly. Yeah. <laughs> Go for your wine. Mm-hmm. That strongly uh, recommended drinking is what we did a lot of. Oh yeah, we drank a lot. And one of the things. And they, it's hard. It's like it's like is it hazing when it's like hey. I mean, there's you guys like a it, fun it's, level of like it's a race. It's like a race between <clears throat> one of the events. Like you know, four uh, two guys had to crush a thirty rack, and we, they paired up the, all the pledges. It was twenty of us. Yeah, in teams of two. And you had to finish a thirty rack, and whichever team finished fastest God won. Damn, two people finished a thirty rack. Well, yeah, but they just lock you in the room, in like, a, yeah. in like, a, in like the big, in the big lobby room. Yeah, yeah, and you'd have all day, and they'd give you like whoever finished first won. So then, of course, you just try and drink as fast as you can. I mean, it is crazy in college how many beers you would drink. It's disgusting. Like I would, I would thirty a day. Yeah, no crazy. problem. Yeah, I couldn't drink that much water. If I drink two now, I would. Oh yeah, I I'd fall asleep. <laughs> it's not even like I'm even getting get old. Drunk. <laughs> I just pass out. Yeah, you're not a big drinker, are you? I haven't seen you hammered. Uh, yeah, not really. What's what's your, what's your drug of choice then? If you don't like to drink, you don't like to smoke. You don't smoke. I mean, I do. I'd like to drink. I just don't do it that often. Why not? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like shit the next day. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> you know that you hate hangovers that much. Yeah, I mean, my body hurts since I'm tall. Like I'm gonna die when I'm like 52. You so. think so? I don't think so. No, I'm gonna die. How how are you so certain of that? Is your father dead? Is he tall? No, but I mean, who's tall that's not dead? <laughs> have you seen Shaquille the, O'Neal should be worried he looks like shit yeah <laughs> you, you saw him playing basketball he does look pretty bad and by by the end of his basketball career he was like a quick guy yeah like but when, he also is like a professional athlete you're not that well I, I, I did try to play he high did. level tennis and I yeah but they myself. live for fucking ever they don't die you're young yeah but they're not tall that's a good point I am taller than most of them yeah you know? does that help in tennis being that tall no <laughs> It does. I mean, it, there's there's Marginal, elements. Yeah. yeah, there's things that it does help and things that it doesn't. But like, a good, but you're not going to be like better. reach. I can reach a ball, but like what but is if that? I, but who if a cares? guy, yeah, if a guy's just if you're quicker, you can get there faster. Yeah. So who gives a shit about my dumb reach? <laughs> you know, if you're short and have quick legs, you just move over there. <laughs> I can do that. Who gives a shit? You know. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, you have a trade-off power and reach and, you know, you have a higher trajectory on the net of serve or whatever, but. Yeah, how come they didn't make you play basketball? I'm sure the fucking coaches in high school were trying to get you. My dad made me play. I, I played. Your dad made you play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad, my dad put me in all the sports. I played baseball and tennis and basketball and shit. What does your dad do besides? He worked for the railroad. Trying to figure out your he, life for you. He's a sports guy. He worked for the railroad? hmm Your dad had a real man's job? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, what, what did he do for the railroad? Was he like the CEO of, of CSX? Uh, not the CEO, but he was, he like started like driving spikes in the ground, no building shit. track and shit, and then moved all his. So your dad's Asian? No. no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, you might get booked more now telling people that. Yes. <laughs> Our I, father built a railroad. He was hey, Asian. Hey, book me on that. <laughs> the stop that? asian hate show yeah yeah <laughs> one of the 50 stop asian hate shows we gotta find a movement that's a, a, that's how i feel like here's the thing you break through in hollywood now you gotta find a movement this is our movement i don't know about you but i'm in this movement the body positivity movement mm. you know i'm in that movement are you in it yeah or, in what way uh my women have called my penis fat and that is unacceptable okay (laughs) my penis is body positive and how dare you (laughs) okay so fair enough yeah so i'm in that movement i'm in that that movement i'm in that movement and i'm trying to help women that are in the body positive movement that have extra body positivity in their tits and ass area Uh, so if you're one of those women definitely hit us up yeah 
fat titties. Mm-hmm. It's, it's degrading. Body positive. Body titties. positive yeah. titties. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, a mm-hmm. body a body positive ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like it. I like yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. so, well, I, I heard you. I heard you talking about uh, speed of movements on on Jeff's podcast. You're talking about bringing bullies back. Yeah, we need that for sure. And I I am 100 percent for that movement. And I will I lead about the it. charge so with the a people, red ball. Tell the people what to, what the, what the genesis of this was because I, I I heard I saw this clip and I was like, you know, he makes a good point. This the is bullies good, the this, bullies have shifted. They're, they're this new is a good now. point. The real bullies are nerds. Yep. They've taken over. Okay. This is the second podcast I'm saying this on, and I've probably said it on other podcasts or whatever. But it's this is a real thing. Fuck nerds. There's we need to build lockers so we can stuff them in them. <laughs> Forget the border wall. Build a lo- Yeah, a, build a, a row, wall of a, lockers. A row of lockers on the southern border yes. and put the nerds in it. <laughs> yes. And it doesn't matter what color the nerds are. They don't have to be <laughs> yeah, Mexican this is, this or whatever. <laughs> There's Mexican nerds, white nerds, black nerds you know definitely asian nerds yeah for sure uh, yeah so you know put them just, all in the locker yeah just put some anime on the back of the locker and then push them in there no, but and i think shut you, the door your point you, you do make a good point in that they are the bullies now yes They're because the, they 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 weaponize victimhood as a like they'll be like oh I, you're bullying me and then they'll go like tattle on you in whatever regard that is whether it's like you know a kid at school or like now like you know social media like yeah people will get you blocked for making comedy or whatever and it's nerds going on your account saying oh you're making content i don't like so i will report your content and then i will get you removed from the platform thus you are actually being bullied for making content yeah so and and the nerds are the ones that have the power now i mean mm-hmm. think about it right yeah, they, Elon they made Musk, all the apps. Elon Musk, fucking nerd. Mm-hmm. Jeff Bezos, nerd. Total nerd. Mark yeah. Zuckerberg, nerd. Uh, my Mega nerd, dude. Fucking Bill Gates, the king, nerd. Such a nerd, dude. So these aren't these aren't people who have yeah. who are the victims anymore. They are yeah. the aggressors. Who's dude? an alpha that owns like a tech company? Yeah. No one. No one, yeah. dude. They're trying to cut Joe Rogan's Joe Rogan's legs out from under him. You know, I mean, that's he's getting bullied now. The guy, yeah. the guy who can bend you like 100%. a pretzel is getting bullied by the media. <laughs> I know. It's, it's bullshit. It's and they're all crazy. nerds. So, and they're all nerds. <laughs> yeah, we got to take down nerds. If you're a nerd, come get some, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Threatening nerds. Yeah. yeah, dude. I'm, I'm going to start bringing a red ball around yeah. and just fucking whipping it at people. In the... And there, look, obviously I'm not, a, I'm not in support of kids getting fucking tormented and beaten up when they're young but having bullies in school did teach you a little bit about life yeah and a little, a little it, bit of adversity about to... how to how to make friends right mm-hmm. i mean like you had to make friends so you stop getting bullied your friend group would be diverse because you would want to friend a bully <laughs> that's a good point to be yeah so you would need to yeah then he would bully you he'd bully other people for you people yes to protect and you from they the bully stopped doing dodgeball in school and that's bullshit also that's such bullshit because dodgeball is bullying as a sport yeah right so it's like but you learn all the the traits of yeah, you all gang up on the weak one yeah but th- but if you're the weak one you can learn to ascend in the game by dodging. learning as, by dodging sh- sure if you're frail but quick you can learn to dodge and you can be an asset to a team yeah. dodging work on the catching throws. the ball because you know you get a lot of thrown at you if you're a fat kid you're a catcher yeah <laughs> fucking learn to catch dude <laughs> And then yeah, you dude, become an asset. Yeah, dude, yeah. Then you know? two for ones. So you're the mm-hmm. guy on the team. Yeah. So. And I'll say this about dodgeball: it was co-ed. Mm-hmm. At, least, at least when I was a kid. Oh, I don't, yeah. Did you play dodgeball with boys and girls all together? Right. We did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remember guys would headhunt on chicks, and it wasn't me too back then. It right was here. just, it was just, hey man, they're fucking the weak link. They got to get out. That was me, dude. I treat everybody <laughs> equally, and if you're a woman, you can get this fucking smoke, bitch. <laughs> So that was, dude. It was, man. It was brutal, dude. Oh. When I was uh, when I was in college, I was, I was an RA. Okay. No shit. They let yeah. you. They let you have control of a floor. <laughs> we did these like RA uh, Olympics. We had three villages in our school where all the people lived, and they divided us up into the three villages. And uh, I was village three, mm-hmm. and we had a Olympics 
for all three villages and one of the games we played was dodgeball and i gave someone a concussion no shit did you did you do it directly from the hit or they hit their head on something i threw a ball at them and they hit him in the head okay yeah because i had a buddy who gave a girl a concussion and in- now we can't confirm that it was me but i'm pretty sure if he'll take if he got a concussion from anybody but me that would be embarrassing but it's all look it's all, the, all the ra's statu- throwing ball, bunch of nerds i know statute limitations up too so he can't he can't prosecute yeah. this but i had a buddy who gave a girl a concussion in uh, middle school from a dodgeball she was standing uh, like close to the wall but not up against it, it hit the ball hit her in the head her head hit the, hit the, oh, nice. hit the wall and she wow. fucking collapsed into like a like a sack of potatoes god damn dude it was a brilliant night yeah, it, was it was a brilliant afternoon hilarious i mean it was great we got out of fucking we got out of gym for the rest of the day i basically got the rest of the day off because <laughs> yeah. it was they had like you know medic come in mm-hmm. the whole fucking thing she was fine i mean obviously if she died it would have been a lot sadder for mm-hmm. her family not for me but <laughs> yeah i'm i'm too competitive with all that shit so like I, I are you competitive in just sports or like in the rest of your life like you get all wound uh, up about shit? pretty because you seem pretty laid back yeah man if a sport is playing dude <laughs> I'm sorry. we are gonna i'm gonna kill somebody you can't play any sport casually no like even golfing and shit like that no. like you're a top golf kid just like you buff them out there and no <laughs> <laughs> I can't. yeah no dude i i so at my college they built a, a frisbee golf course oh that now that's a sport that's right up jeff c's alley uh huh. And when they built the frisbee golf course, I bought like, you know, I was like, oh, I'll try it out, get a couple of frisbees, and then like three weeks later, I'm like, I'm gonna try and go pro at frisbee golf. <laughs> <laughs> then I found out like a pro frisbee golfer, like the top guy, the guy whose name is like lasered on the disc, Ken Klimo or whatever, he made like forty five thousand dollars. Oh, you didn't know this dude? Our, our, like, our buddy Chris Traven was a, really he was on the pro tour for a little bit. What he made four hundred dollars one year. It sucks, dude. But he was good. He's good. He's re- I mean, he's a sick. I won a doubles tournament. You didn't know Chris Traven's big in the frisbee golf? <laughs> Shout out to Chris Traven. Go talk to Chris Traven. Yeah. He'll, oh, he'll, he'll, he'll think you frisbee golf. Hell yeah, dude. I still got my discs, dude. You have like custom discs? Not custom discs, but I got a bunch of discs. What the yeah. fuck does it matter? It's a fucking frisbee. No, it's not. There's, oh, they, there's they get drivers, the in there. there's putters, see, there's see, mid-range. There's, there's, there's two there's... ways you go in sports. Either you juice the player or you juice the equipment. And it sounds like frisbee golf, they're juicing the equipment. I mean, mm-hmm. tennis, I got to imagine. I mean, you that, can that, take, that, that the if players you take are... Roy's for frisbee golf, you are a fucking dork, dude. <laughs> Like, no, the frisbee golf guy on <laughs> roids. That's the guy I want to talk that to. That guy does. That guy rule. rules. That guy, yeah, that guy fucking rules, dude. <laughs> just like in a locker room, like oh, just, get, just just get getting it. huge on frisbee yeah, golf. Fucking jacked. Just, just rose it. Hundred yarders with a frisbee. Yeah, dude. That that does rule. Actually, <laughs> throwing a frisbee like out of the fucking orbit, <laughs> like that. Remember that John Elway football commercial? Oh yeah. yeah where he, like, yeah, he th- in the commercial he throws the football out of the stadium. He's yeah. like, "Why would you do that?" Well, yeah, loss on downs, dude. Second yeah. down. <laughs> Get another that's ball. That's cool that you did that, but that's no points. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very cool, and it it did spiral the whole way. But yeah, commercials aren't really known for having uh, tracking. Like they don't mm-hmm. they don't make any sense. I, I saw I saw a pharmaceutical commercial today where it's for Bictarvi, the drug called Bictarvi. But Tarvi, Vic Tarvi, Vic Tarvi. Okay, it doesn't say what it's for. It just says, "Ask your doctor if Vic Tarvi's right for you." Just take it. And it, hey, it, who cares? It, it doesn't say what illness is. You treating. find a pill on the ground, just pop it, dude. <laughs> Try it out. See what happens. <laughs> it's female estrogen. You're gonna yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Nowadays, probably a lot of fucking Go for female hormones running around out there. For sure. Yeah. How much does someone have to pay you to tr- to tr- to transgender yourself? Zero. I mean, no. Zero. No. I mean. I think I think they got, I think they have a lot of things going for them right now. The, they have the wind at their backs. Yeah, for straight sure. white guy like you, you got nothing but headwind, my friend. I know. You know. I know. I mean, I would, <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it right now. I'll do it on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. If, if you're offended by anything he said, don't worry. He's a woman now. Yeah. Uh, you want to get into a little news? How much? How much time I got here, bud? Oh yeah, let's get into the news. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, I know we already talked about the. Uh, the guy in jail who impregnated two chicks. Yeah. Um, King. <laughs> I mean, it is a pretty genius move. The 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 prison pipeline is his dong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the prison pipeline. But also think about that. I, I, I know a couple guys, we know a couple guys that were in, went into uh, cheerleading in college because, you know, they couldn't make the team and there were girls there. So they uh, I was that. technically on the cheerleading squad. You too? Yeah. I was a mascot, so. Oh, technically, yeah. Cheerleading. Squad. I could see you as the mascot. I was pretty. I was 
you know, I was just, I was in there. I was in there. <laughs> was in Sweating. The yeah. Um, what, what, what was the mascot? Bob Marlin. It was a big fish. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. Bob Marlin. That's great. But, uh, but anyway, so we had friends like, you know, Josh Nelson, who was a female, male cheerleader, I guess. Okay. Um, Chappelle Lacey, you. Nice. But there's no better place to like, even the, uh, like to, to, to have the best ratio to hook up than being the only person with a penis. I won't call him a woman. Or I'm gonna call him a man, rather. Yeah. A person with a penis in an all women's jail. Think about oh, yeah. it. I mean, those women are crazy, so you know they're good in bed. They're all in prison, right? They're all mm -hmm. they a little violent. Trigger. I feel like those are the the that they're might captive. Be a, might right? be a, a threshold of too crazy. What would you like? Because women don't go to prison. Yeah, but know? would you rather go to an all male jail with other men or go to the all women's jail and have the dick? It sounds like a. It sounds like for a, sure. I it mean, sounds like a way better deal to be yeah, in a female prison for sure. There's a lot less violence in a female prison. Mm -hmm. And if there is violence, I mean, he's, he could pretty much overpower, she can pretty much overpower all of them. Yeah. You a know? lot of long stories in there in that prison, though. <laughs> Woo-wee. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many women he's had sex with. He impregnated two, but it doesn't say how many he had slept with. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you pull out? You know? Who cares? He's in prison. He's not, he's not going to be responsible for it. I guess, but... <laughs> I mean, Still, like, that's the state's problem now you know like I what yes and they don't sell condoms in the commissary in jail i'm pretty sure mm -hmm. that <clears throat> actually i don't know it wouldn't make sense to have condoms in jail though they still have stds yeah yeah i don't know <laughs> I mean, it's not, uh, my it's only not... knowledge of prison is what i've seen in uh like breaking bad and orange is the new black <laughs> you have a very hollywood view of prison yeah I imagine a woman's prison is just them diking out all the time. <laughs> that's just all the porn you watch. Is, well, no, like that's what happened in that show. They're lezzing out every two seconds, a bunch of tits. <laughs> is that why you watched? Yeah. yeah that show. <laughs> no, it was, a good, it was a yeah. good show. It was a good show. And then, like, after, like, season three, it got pretty That stupid. always happens. Yeah, they, God they, damn, they decided, it got ridiculous. They decided to up the pay on the writers. They got a bunch of new guys, and it yeah, yeah, they I mean, fuck it all up. When, I forget the main character's name, but she, like, got up on a picnic table and gave some fucking Rudy speech about selling underwear. And I was like, what is happening? You like that? No, it was horrible. Oh, I was like, that like, was, like, when the show oh, started. Okay, was, That's like, when I noticed the show. I was like, what is happening? And I tried to finish it, and I never finished it. Yeah, I, I've I've given up on it. It got shows. pretty bad. Like w at one point, a gun got loose. Like the in the jail. Yeah, women. Yeah, there was like a prison riot. Women stole the gun from the like one of the guards, and there was like multiple episodes where it was not recovered. Like they, they just didn't know. They, they no. They, they knew the, a gun the, was the missing. women took over the prison, and yeah. it was like still. I'm like, this is crazy. Yeah, they this would, is so insane. They would never allow that. They're like, w you're gonna let one chick with. 10 rounds in a gun <laughs> in prison like <laughs> just she can just have it okay she can just have it we're just gonna let that happen sounds like florida dude no i don't know i would want i'm surprised they don't allow the the inmates to be armed in florida yeah they don't that's that seems that seems like I'm, I'm gonna start that movement i mean they have the second amendment right too mm -hmm. you know there are that's americans true. well no they don't have that right they lost their right because they are in prison now hey look you know? The Second Amendment right is God given. Okay. Fuck the founders. God given. Yeah, uh, yeah. Carry your piece to prison. Yeah. <laughs> Suitcase it. It would also make it a lot butt. cheaper to house these people. There'd be a lot less of them. They'd mm -hmm. kill each other. You know, yeah. it'd be real. <laughs> well, I mean, they still kill each other in prison. <laughs> yeah, but it'd be a lot faster. Yeah. You know, bang, bang. Sure. They don't have to wait months sharpening up a spoon into a knife. Mm -hmm. True. Know? Very true. What do you think about uh, the other big story of the week? Elon Musk offering to buy Twitter. <laughs> you pro, con? Uh, I think it's probably good. Right, I mean, it's, I think so, huh? I mean, it's, if if you can, if people aren't removed from the platform, that would be good, you know. Yeah, if people are allowed to say whatever on the platform. You know, I'm I'm on whatever the side of free speech is. Yeah, see, that's know? that I I agree in principle, but this is where I think it falls apart. I don't think Elon gives a shit about that. Mm -hmm. He, like every other billionaire, like every other person on Earth, is worried about what's in it for him. Billionaires buy newspapers to change public opinion. Mm -hmm. The biggest newspaper on earth is Twitter. It's social, it's social media, Facebook probably, and then Twitter is, you know, has a big yeah. say in the, in the public sphere. True. If he alone owns it, he wants to buy it and take it private, so he will personally own Twitter. Mm -hmm. Then it's just his to do whatever he feels like. It makes him decide what free speech is and isn't. 
Mm-hmm. Not the not the constitution. But it's already not owned. the constitution. It, it, it would be up to him as to who gets to say what, when, and why on Twitter. Yeah, I don't like that idea. But who currently owns it, it is the public. But it seems like people keep getting kicked off of Twitter, so it doesn't really seem like it's a free speech platform. No, it's not. But, so but like, that's what I'm saying. But Elon pretends any he- change to me would be probably a change for the better. Well, so, I, see, I think Twitter should just be deleted. I think it's toxic as fuck. Yeah. I, I think it's unhelpful. I mean, most social media is, I think but if, Twitter especially. Because twi- you know how many monthly users there are on Twitter? I guess how many active monthly users they have globally on Twitter. Uh, Meaning they tweet once a, at least once a month, which is a low number. Uh, once a month is very low, but go ahead. I don't know, like 200 million or something? Yeah, like close, that? 300 million. Okay. Instagram has a billion mm-hmm. daily users. What's pictures? Yeah. Facebook has a, yeah, a, a, which is you know, for older people, it's still a billion people. Like, so it, it, so Twitter's impact is bigger than it is a business. It only makes three hundred fifty million dollars a year. Facebook makes tens of billions a year. Mm-hmm. Twitter makes three hundred fifty million dollars a year. It's, it's, There's it's, no way it's a it. much smaller business than people think. It's not yeah. that lucrative, yeah. but it has an outsized impact because everyone references Twitter. It's also, I think, it has less impact business wise because it's a like it's a terrible advertising platform. No one wants to advertise on it. But I think it's also because it's not a free speech platform. You know uh, I mean? Well, I think advertisers would be afraid of advertising on a free speech platform, no, right? Because so. you never, well, you would never know in the feed where somebody says something racist, and you don't want like a Dove soap ad underneath, you know, some guy who's hey, you want to make your skin white? <laughs> yeah, use Dove soap. <laughs> <laughs> Clean your skin off. You know? Hey, it works. <laughs> You can use you it make wherever. You want to make white? You dumb so. Yeah, the bar is white, so, <laughs> you know. Maybe that's... I don't think Dub would take that copy. Look, <laughs> you don't want to be they don't want to have associated alter- with that, but it's also like, I know that they weren't like, hey, put our soap ad on a racist tweet. You know I, mean? <laughs> I know they're not put it right underneath the racist who's tweet. like hey you, like because you know people are like oh you support racism or whatever it's like obviously who, not you, you support racism directly. no one does <laughs> so like you know yes there are those people out there that are racist but that the you know yeah like I, said, I don't know anyone that's for the most part quote unquote, people are racism. not trying to be racist and anytime somebody is racist it's usually an accident you know uh, like when I, Whoopi Goldberg was like, oh, yeah. "Hey, the Holocaust was." <laughs> oh my God! Well, I would I would definitely say that a lot that a lot more of what people deem racism is is yeah. ignorance mm-hmm. and yeah, just like lack of knowledge. Like like you, like you, people are like, oh, he said something racist. No, he just doesn't know. He doesn't grow up with black people to know that that's not what they think or do. Or but like, yeah, it's sort of one hundred. It's, it's not like clan. You know, go out and burn a fl- you know burn a fucking uh, yeah. a crucifix. It's it's like it's like it's not even on their radar. Like they don't think about the black community, one hundred percent, or the Asian community, or the or women. Most or whatever. racism is ignorance. Yeah, you know, it's just it's just laziness mm-hmm. masquerading as as like uh, as something more nefarious. Yeah, but I mean, I I do get like people just love Elon Musk for whatever reason. He's the only billionaire. I've said this before. He's the only billionaire that gets a fucking pass. Everyone thinks he, fucking Bill Gates is trying to put chips on us. You know. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg's an Android asshole, you know. I mean, have you seen these and, guys? And, and like, oh, Elon's cool. It's like, he's a billionaire like the rest of them. He doesn't give a fuck about you or anybody else but himself. He doesn't seem to have, like, forced people to be in any kind of whatever he's doing. You know what I mean? Well, that's the thing. In, in his business. All of, all of his investments up until Twitter, if he does this, mm-hmm. all of his bi- uh, businesses were not scrutinized in that way and that they were they weren't social media companies mm-hmm. they weren't polluting the environment because they were green right we all liked it we all loved paypal so you can pay for stuff online like it was they were non-controversial businesses they, they weren't stepping on anybody's toes yeah like paypal wasn't pissing anybody off oh he was paypal yeah he did paypal first uh, then, then he did tesla damn. then he did spacex oh wow so he made, he made he made the bulk of his i mean he became a billionaire after paypal and then became mm-hmm. a mega billionaire after tesla but wow that's the thing. Like, if there weren't controversial businesses in the way that like Facebook or Twitter or Instagram are, mm-hmm. but now he's wading into those waters. So yeah. I don't think it helps his public image. Uh, obviously, it gives him more power to, to to dictate what people say in the in the public discourse. But I don't think, like, I think you want the government regulating Twitter as a free speech zone, not a private guy saying, "Yeah, I'm going to buy it and I'll do it I'm, on my good graces. I'll make it free speech." Because yeah. then he can just say, "No, I don't want that." The next day, it's a, but it's already it's not really like that. I know. It's that, already that's what no I'm saying. That's what him buying it doesn't make it any better. 
Him buying it doesn't do shit, but, but make it, him it more could. powerful. It could be that. So we'll see. Well, if your grandmother had balls, she'd be your grandfather. You know, like, yeah. like, what do you mean, could? How dare you dead name <laughs> my ball having <laughs> grandmother? <laughs> my ball having grandmother. Yeah. Does like, she have balls, dude? No. <laughs> I don't even have a grandma anymore. So. <laughs> All right, here's the last one, real quick. Uh, Kentucky man who did not want to, his employer to sing happy birthday to him awarded $450,000. Wait, so this guy did not want happy birthday sang to him? Yeah, I'll, re I'll read the story real quick. Yeah, a Kentucky man wasn't here for the festivities planned to, quote, celebrate him due to his anxiety disorder. The former employee of Gravity Diagnostics was fired following the anxiety filled birthday party thrown against his request. He sued and won in Kenton County Circuit Court in Kentucky. Uh, his employer owes him $450,000. Court documents indicate the employee informed the office manager he did not want a birthday celebration due to his anxiety disorder and the fear of being the center of attention. See, this is what happens when there's too many nerds. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's this like, guy, so they just sit there awkwardly while people say happy birthday and it's okay. You know, Do, you have anxiety. Everyone has anxiety. Just that's what I was going to say. The, the, the singing the happy birthday song or getting it sung to you. Is one of the weirdest moments that we all share. Because mm -hmm. what do you what do you do when you get happy birthday song to you? It's it's the fucking well. It's, now it's I'm stuck. suing wherever <laughs> that happens because that's apparently a lucrative. I would have sued my parents. Do. Yeah, but my parents owe me several <laughs> million, hundreds dollars. of thousands of dollars because every year they <laughs> threw me some fucking birthday bullshit, and I am not having it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's yeah that's crazy. For I mean. Kudos to that guy for. Like, I think he got over good. I, for, I, oh yeah, kudos I'm, to that guy for getting the bag. Yeah, no doubt. I, I love when anybody gets over on somebody. Yeah, like, like, like if hey, you, your business that you work for it sucks. Fuck that. Hell yeah. I used to work at Hollywood Video. I stole a garbage bag full of movies from there. Fuck you, Hollywood Video. <laughs> that fucking rule. <laughs> And I would do it again, but you're out of business because you're a fucking bitch. <laughs> you're shit business. Probably because of that giant garbage bag I took. <laughs> you're like, man, we lost all of our movies. We can't even rent movies anymore at this location because there's Jim, none in the store. Out. That guy that volunteered to take out the garbage every day for a month <laughs> is gone. It's not returning our calls. I love that he got over, but yeah, no, yeah. kudos to him for getting over, but also fuck nerds. That's also, it's like kind of a nerd bullshit thing. It, it is a little bit of a, I'm torn on the story. So, but what do you, like I said, what do you do when you get happy birthday sung to you? You know, what, what's your reaction? Uh, I, you know, tell the stripper that popped out of the cake. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> see my my strategy my strategy to get them to stop singing is just start masturbating vigorously i just I, you know yes, like there you that, go. that'll that'll, yeah. that'll clear out the Hell fucking yeah. room pretty quick yeah that's a good one <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know just really aggressive about it yeah yeah just for spit sure. in your hand and start going at it go for it yeah <laughs> that's a good way to do it <laughs> that's the end of it no no one will ever sing happy birthday to you again you do that one time that's true well, you want i mean you want you get what three tugs in before they're all out of the room mm -hmm. you know yeah. unless somebody's really weird and, it, and, and hey, they're it's watching your birthday <laughs> It's like that song. It's my birthday and I can do what I want. <laughs> or actually, it's I can cry if I want to. But maybe you cry out of your penis. You know? <laughs> Shed a tear out of your dawn for <laughs> your birthday. And on that note, Jeff, I think we yeah. made it to an hour, brother. Yeah. You got anything you want to promote? Two Woke Boys? My yes. fucking favorite? My, my please, favorite podcast? Please listen to the Two Woke Boys podcast. And you can watch it now on Spotify and hopefully YouTube. We'll see about that. But That's, easy. a, That's easier than Spotify. There's a YouTube channel and all that stuff, too. I just don't have the video up currently. Yeah, it but, just takes long to upload. Yeah, it was, it was like that for Spotify, yeah. too. Also, check out my Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube pages for Jeff Zinesek. Z E N I S E K. I'll, I'll obviously link you on the clips. Brother, thanks oh, for doing yeah, this, man. Yeah. Always a pleasure. Thanks, man. It was a blast, dude. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Peace.